Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sean Austin here again from Sean's Rabbit Tree and Aquaponics Produce. We're back with another aquaponics video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at our Dutch bucket system that we're installing. Right now, this is um, some footage that we recorded a while back, a few weeks back before I was injured and we didn't have time to upload it, but now we're going to show you that process and we'll also give you a look at where the few plants that we did manage to put in where they're at right now All right, so stay tuned More on this right after the intro okay guys so we are in the process of setting back up our dutch bucket system so I'm just gonna take you through a few of the steps. All right, it's really simple. All right, um, let me see. Put the camera down. We are using these, what we call uh, black construction buckets. We chose these because they are very strong, and since our media of choice is gravel, we needed something that can support the gravel and not lose its shape. Plus these buckets are quite durable so we are sure that after setting these up we are going to have these for quite a few years before we have to do any type of maintenance on them. So I will show you how we go about it. Okay so we have our buckets and the thing about uh, the Dutch bucket system is that you must have an inflow of water and you must have a way for the water to exit the bucket, an outflow. So, how we create our outflow is by using this uh, simple contraption that we rigged up. This is a half inch male adapter with a rubber gasket and a lock nut. Right. Connected to a short piece of half inch pipe, to a half inch elbow and another piece of half inch pipe. When I put it together, it will all make more sense to you. So, in order to attach this to the bucket, we need to drill a hole in the bucket so that we can attach this. What we are using to make our hole is a cordless drill with a half inch speed bit. Okay, so I've already measured where I want to put my hole, right here, it's about one and a half inch from the bottom of the bucket, that's where the tip of the speed bit will go, so after you drill your hole you'll have about one inch below where you'll have a little reservoir of water all the time. So, we have our hole right. inside and you can see that there yes right. it's quite simple we take this out with the gasket as well this goes in here From the inside, we place the gasket and the lock nut. There you go, and you have a Dutch bucket ready to go. So guys, this is the area where our Dutch buckets were previously. As you can see, we still have the drain pipe in place. I'll go a little closer. See, this is the four inch pipe that takes the water back to the sump. It goes under the ground and down into the sump. Right. So, this is designed to take approximately 200 buckets because we did it in such a way that 
you would have buckets on both sides of the pipe but this time around we're just doing one row so we'll probably do about 100 buckets all the way up You gotta put the elbows. I'm thinking that it's already the only food we see. I'm going to open a couple of them. Yeah. I'm thinking a couple of them will make no difference. Mm -hmm. You gotta put the elbows on. Okay, so. Let's head down to the Dutch buckets. As you can see everything is growing quite lovely mm -hmm. right. a quick look at our papaya or purple trees then we have the big guy up here some of the fruits are beginning to ripe quick look here at our deep water culture bed right we planted these celery a couple weeks ago and they're coming along quite nicely uh, so give you a little idea what's going on under here. Let me raise this raft. Oh yeah, you can see those nice clean roots there. And the aeration going there. So all in all, they're coming along nicely. Okay. So here we are at the Dutch buckets. Right. Now uh, we haven't yet completed our run of buckets, but this first batch that we did complete, we had some tomato seedlings around and we stuck them in. And you can see they're just going crazy in that Dutch working system. They love it. Right. Coming close here. Right. You'll see it's just a nice trickle of water. It doesn't have to be heavy. Just a constant flow. Same as with this guy here. And this one here. So, all in all these tomato plants are coming along quite nicely uh, they're probably about two and a half feet tall and most of them have uh, started flowering 
Uh, you can even see a little, if you zoom in here, let's see. You can see, right, see there's a fruit forming right there. You know, we have a lot of other bunches of buds around. You know, and these are cherry tomatoes that were grown from seed. So, let me give you a comparison. These were planted, and not these in fact, these two were planted about four or five days ago. This one was planted two days ago. And the time difference between this size and this size here is um, roughly three weeks. Yeah, and we are starting to get some fruit there. So all in all, the Dutch Bucket project so far has been a success. Uh, stay tuned for more because we are going to be continuing this system all the way up to the end of the system there. When we are done, we will have approximately, I think, 80 to 90 buckets, depending on the spacing, all the way up. And then we'll probably look at doing it on the other side so we can double the amount. But for now, this is where we're at. We'll pick back up on this in a couple weeks now that we're back up and running. So that's that. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. You know, stay tuned for more aquaponics videos coming up next Wednesday. Peace God, we'll have another vid for you. Uh, don't forget next Monday as well. We'll have a brand new rabbit farming video. Look at these nice peppers behind me. Yeah. These pepper trees are going crazy you know we, hey, look we even have what we call a bird pepper That's loaded with fruit loaded loaded we, we pin peppers from that daily as well as these guys here we have a few ripe ones up there you know these are uh, what we call pimento peppers yeah so like i said guys right now the system is performing really well we have a huge variety of plants and everything is growing nice um, so what more can I say aquaponics brought to you by Sean's Ravitry and Aquaponic Produce stay tuned for more we we'll see you guys in the next video peace